Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 26th of March 2019. And we have a number of very, very interesting news in the whiskey business. First of all, we have the Mortlach 47 years old coming to the market. It's part of the Singing Stills series. It's 46.8% ABV. It was distilled 1971. It's very, very rare. You have to register and then you only have the chance of buying one for the price of 10,000 pounds. And something more interesting for the everyday user, when you go to Isla, you have a new choice of visiting a distillery. The Art Naho distillery, a very new distillery on Isla, just opened its doors to their visitors on Monday. So very, very recent news. There are three tours that you can book and the distillery lies between Bunnahabhain and Karl Illa. So hopefully I will visit this distillery in the near future as well. Then we have the most northern distillery of Scotland, of the mainland of Scotland, and that is the Wolfburn Distillery. They just released their uh, third part of the small batch. It's four years old, 46% ABV. Uh, it's limited to 5,500 bottles. And if you pay close attention, you realize, ah, oh, this stuff is getting a bit older every year. So yeah, the distillery is getting into a bit more interesting territory for their quality and maturation of whiskey. And then we have some news from the US. Uh, Buffalo Trace, Copper and Kings, and the Barton Distillery are offering uh, free tours. So you can visit their distillery and have a tour for free. Uh, the Barton Distillery, when I visited them, they already offered free tours. But the thing is, Buffalo Trace is a very, very huge distillery. And that is quite a big deal because they just renovated their campus and just built new stuff on there to uh, have a, a really nice place to visit. And now it's actually free. So they really want to bring out their brand and everybody to meet the brand and, and then make the money by selling the good whiskey. Yep, and also booking is um, yeah, recommended by the distilleries because they're expecting a lot of visitors. Last of all, we have news from Japan. There are two new blended whiskies on the market. And they come from the Kaikyo distillery. I have never heard of this distillery. I've not visited it when I was there. It sounds like a new distillery. And they released two blends there. Hatotsaki, a Japanese blend with 40%, and the Hatotsaki Pure Malt with 46% ABV, which is a vetted malt of 100% malt whiskey. Hatotsaki is a Japanese lighthouse, the oldest Japanese lighthouse made with stone. Yeah, um, I'm not quite sure where the distillery is, but when I visit, uh, I'm gonna visit Japan again, I'm totally gonna see this distillery as well. So thank you very much for watching and see you next week.